Hey, what's going on tribe? It's Red again, just hitting you guys up with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. So gang, it's gonna be another one of them crazy Matrix talk videos. So whatever comes up, just comes up. So just go with it, right? Jesus. Look, the wisdom, the wisdom. <laughs> so, um, <coughs> so yesterday, um, I was having a talk with a friend and um, the realization of what is happening in the 3D realm, should we say, um, kind of don't like, you know when you just, when you just get that aha moment, like, you know, you know stuff's, stuff's going down, but then you don't know what's going down and then we was talking. So since, I don't know, maybe 2020, um, or just the journey in general, right? It's not about getting attached, yeah, to the physical realm yeah because the physical realm is only temporary right and uh, like even like we was talking and even like death yeah um is it's a part of life you know birth death reincarnation <clears throat> so um one of my lessons um for since like 2020 is not getting attached to the physical body as much right because um as we know the physical body is should we say we can say decaying it's decaying on a daily basis the more you look after it it decays slower right the more you don't take care of it the vessel the more it's going to decay faster right like it's temporary right so that's one been one of my lessons coming to terms with um the decay of the body should we say <laughs> like um and like coming to terms with dying right like it's attachment right so one of my lessons is has been attachment to the physical body. Um, because I was reading one book, right? Um, and the book was basically saying about <clears throat> there's one meditation where you literally just lie on the floor and like pretend that you're 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 dead. Like you don't have no attachment to your physical body, you don't have no attachment to your children or your possessions and stuff. And I practiced it a few times and it's very interesting. Um <clears throat> Because it's really, and another thing that's quite interesting is um, the yeah the ego and the soul, right? Like um, there's there's a lot of people operating just in ego at the moment, um, and a lot more people are waking up, should I say? But once you wake up, yeah. I would call it an ego death, right? Or a dark night of the soul. Like, actually, no. A dark night of the soul is actually facing yourself, right? Um, and facing all your negative aspects, right? And an ego death is the person that you think you are, you are not that. And that, that, can, uh, that can also happen within a dark night of the soul as well. Yeah, that can happen in a dark night of the soul. So with an ego death, a part of you actually dies, right? But it's not the physical death it's just a part of you that you think you are just dies right and it's very painful <laughs> it's very painful and it can like, when i was having my ego death i tried checking out and everything mate so it's not um yeah it's not it's, it's not an easy ride yeah but um like like again it was my attachment to what i was going through should i say <clears throat> which is interesting but um yeah man this physical realm things are changing very fast very very fast um if you can't feel the there's something happening like on an internal level like things are changing on the external level that we don't have control over right but internally you have all control over your internal world right um so yeah it's just not about getting too attached to the the external world because the external world is only temporary right so <clears throat> well the matrix should i say gaia is a whole different story you gotta try to take care of gaia as much as possible <laughs> yeah it's not even funny yeah like gaia has had enough like what we've been doing as a species on this planet is just horrific like most animals yeah coexist with nature yeah but humans only want to just destroy and try to eat everything like there's not one thing on the planet that humans haven't tried to eat yeah <laughs> so these times yeah when the aliens come and all that yeah don't be thinking that man ain't gonna try deep fry a bloody alien or something yeah these people is just mad fun <laughs> 
but yeah um another thing that's coming up as well um that's just come to mind so um look at the sun i beat dog mad light codes um <clears throat> yeah is uh the last few weeks no since the eclipse should we say like literally all well my past traumas everything has been coming up um just to be like kind of uh a minute to just give space for it should we say yeah just a minute um just to give it space to breathe like if that makes sense because uh, everyone's got trauma and stuff that they've look at the sun of beat dog man <clears throat> yeah everyone's got um stuff that they're working through on their journey right um and healing is like a how should we say it? healing is um it's like an onion like you don't ever stop healing but you get better and you get less triggered and stuff and your triggers are only there to show you what still needs healing right um and also one one thing is like you see like narcissists yeah um this is just randomly come to mind narcissists yeah they are fully in ego yeah they're trying to avoid doing any spiritual work and trying to take any responsibility right it's basically spiritual bypassing um not wanting to feel or participate in what's happening if that makes sense they're they're actually disconnected from self actually yeah it's actually um yeah narcissists are actually very disconnected from self um interesting but anyway um where was I going with that so yeah about the the getting attached like because everything is temporary man and like lit uh, literally it was um you know what yeah i've got to get like this is one of the things me, me my bridging was talking about let's check out king's cross yeah look at harry potter bus and that if you want to try to come to london hit hit you'll definitely hit up king's cross right <laughs> so i'll give you a little tour a tour, tour of london <laughs> but um yeah, I was talking to a friend yesterday and I just, oh yeah, that's it. I just wanted to give a big shout out, yeah, to all my tribe and people then, yeah. Even though we don't link up on a regular, yeah, when we link up is a vibe and we're always there for each other in different ways, yeah. Like, yeah, it's funny because I had to help out a friend and then a friend actually helped me out yesterday. So it was very, very, it was like, it was just the way it happened was just wild, innit? So it was like, yeah, I'm just great, grateful, innit? Um, but yeah, one of the lessons was... Uh, yeah, gratitude was one of the lessons. Okay. And then we, me and my friend was talking about, um, uh, like, <laughs> I got this download, yeah, about how um, the vices that people are using to distract themselves with um, in the matrix realm, smoking, drinking, partying, sex, food addiction, right? Um, them vices are gonna no longer work. Because even my, me and my bridging was talking and she was like, oh yeah, um, she's started to cut down smoking and not have caffeine and that. And I was like, listen, I've been trying to stop smoking and uh, my diet and everything's dramatically changing and stuff, innit? Like, not dramatically changed. Since 2020, I've just been going with what my body wants, right? So sometimes I'll be vegan, sometimes. Sometimes I'll be a whole carnivore, like eating, whole, <laughs> eating up the whole thing there. Um, and yeah, just go with what my body, 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 body says right um it's about just tuning in the more you tune into your body your body will give you messages about what what it needs and what it wants right like if your body needs rest yeah or if your body needs carb carbohydrates or if your body needs protein right like if you tune in your body will tell you and all this artificial stuff is not is not good like it's about moderation don't get me wrong so yeah if you want to chocolate and blah 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 because the last two listen the last few weeks the energy has been mad and trying to ground in the physical body has been hard work so i've been eating a lot um because sometimes it feels like <laughs> i'm floating um if any of you have experienced um depersonalization right it's like a trauma response right so it's actually a pretty cool trauma response yeah sometimes yeah but now i don't know what's happened like i'm coming more back to my body but the last few weeks i was trying to actually my body like I, was, I don't know if it's ascending or whatever but like all i can say is that depersonalization is where you're watching yourself from like a 3d and it's like an out of body experience right <laughs> so um nothing dramatic happened yeah 
but it was like the other day I was in the gym and then usually I get in the cold shower after having a sauna and usually it's like oh yeah you gotta take a deep breath and kind of kind of like, like brace yourself in it yeah these times man rolled in the shower the cold water's on man and it's like I didn't even feel anything and it's like oh my god like I'm checking out again like I'm disconnecting from the body and that and it's like I have no actual reason to disconnect from the body <laughs> So it's like, I've been like, for the last week or so, I've been trying to grind myself back into the body. I've been doing breath work and, <laughs> and stuff like that and eating so much to grind. And now I'm kind of physically, I feel more connected. Um, I don't know if it's an energy shift or whatever, but yeah. Um, when that happens, sometimes it's cool, yeah? But sometimes it's like, it's not cool because when you, when in, when you depersonalize, yeah? Um, yeah, you're n- it's, you're not really connected, um, and sometimes it can be hard to reconnect. And sometimes you can check. Listen, sometimes I've checked out for months on end. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I've checked out for months on end, and it's like, all right, cool. And then when when you come back, it's like, oh, like it's like it's not starting from scratch again, but it's like it's, it's hard to explain in it. But um, yeah, check out check that out in it because it's like I don't know. Sometimes it's sometimes it can be a superpower. And um, sometimes it can be quite annoying, yeah? If you've got stuff to get done and that. But it's more of a tra- trauma response. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, sorry, just went on a little, 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 um, little rant. But um, yeah, the, the vices that people are holding on to in the 3D realm, they're no, gonna, no longer gonna work. And I was telling my friend this yesterday, I got a download. <coughs> That's why I keep saying in the readings and stuff to start getting your spiritual practices down, um, meditating, um, breath work is very important, um, spending time in nature, reading, um, and just really getting to know yourself like on a deep level, like because you got just use this as an example, right? You have people out there looking for someone to love them, but they don't even love love themselves, right? So that doesn't, that doesn't work like that. <laughs> it really doesn't work like that. You have to love yourself first and become whole, or not whole, but like centered, should we say? And then you will attract that to you, if that makes sense. Because um, on the journey, you'll encounter karmic lessons, and this can be people, places, or things. Um, and you will be someone's um, karmic lesson as well, right? <coughs> um, one one thing about me, <laughs> one of my superpowers is yeah, I trigger people's awakening. <laughs> so if you hang around me long enough, yeah, you'll start like start getting in tune and start vibrating higher. It's like um, yesterday I was hanging around my friend, and then we was chatting, and then next minute my crown started opening up and vibrating and that, and I started getting not a headache. It was just that like, pressure in the head. And I was like, oh, like. When our energies were together, it's kind of opened me up more, if that made sense. So, so that was quite interesting. She was like, oh yeah, um, that happens, isn't it? And I was like, oh yeah, I can relate. Because when people are around me, they open up as well. So um, I awaken people, if that makes sense. But like sometimes, um, yeah, people not, might not be ready. It's like, oh yeah, like, like I show people a different way of life, should we say. It's like, oh yeah, fucking going out and standing in mud and that. What is that? It's like, bruv, what, you don't? You're not, <laughs> when was the last time you connected to Mother Earth and that? Not just going to the beach, like, do you know what I mean? And that's why the shoes, yeah, were the worst invention ever made because people are disconnected from their surroundings. <laughs> and literally, like, there have been some people that literally haven't touched Mother Earth in, some, some for their whole life and that, mad. As soon as you're, as soon as you're born, you're told to wear shoes, why <laughs> like in the matrix anyway like in when you're if you're in the jungle and um stuff like that like it's a barefoot thing and that's why they're more connected to gaia and can feel the subtle shifts of the earth and try to coexist not disconnect if that makes sense um so yeah going forward man them them vices they're no longer gonna work man <clears throat> um so yeah getting your spiritual practice like the, this is what keeps coming down in the readings and um and the download that i get is about the spiritual practices right because um going forward yeah that's um 
yeah, the things in the matrix are going to get more and more wilder, yeah, and the more that you're connected to what's going on, the more your, your, your vibration is going to stay low, and at this time, your vibration needs to be as high as possible, because we are ascending, right, so... <coughs> everything is coming to light and you'll see it you're seeing it unfold in the matrix already like um everything just everything that's unfolding in the matrix um and yeah everything's coming to light and, and everything that's happening is to wake people up at the end of the day right um some people are choosing not to wake up um which is fine because everyone's got their own journey right um, so you just need to hold space for them people, um, like I was saying, not to get too attached because not everyone is going to where you're going, right? Um, these times I am glowing, fam. When you start doing the inner work, yeah, <laughs> it starts showing. Trust, like these times, fucking, I'm getting, young, I'm aging backwards on God, like apart from the grey hairs, apart from the wis wisdom and that, I'm literally aging backwards. I swear to God. If you saw a man in my 20s, yeah, I looked way older than I do now, it's mad. Like when I went on holiday, <laughs> my son looks like my brother and that, people were saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's like raw oh, mad but um yeah when you start doing the inner work you start you start it starts showing and people start realizing it you don't even have to speak like these times my in i don't even need to speak like i know this math does run and thing yeah but like my energy speaks for itself my energy speaks for itself and stuff but um yeah the more attached to the 3d realm you are the more pain and suffering that you're going to cause yourself <clears throat> because the 3d realm it's got to play out the way it's got to play out <clears throat> because it's a part of the evolution, should we say. Well, yeah, the evolution. Like, we're watching the collapse of Rome, should we say. So, one thing... It's like, what we're currently seeing, I'm getting this vision, right? We're seeing the division of a cell, yeah? You know source, right? Source was one, and then source split into two, right? This is where you get the concept of um, light and dark, or God and devil, and blah, blah, blah. But in reality there's only one right like you are me and i am you i'm a reflection of you and you're a reflection of me right <clears throat> but we're watching the split between dimensions and the split of the cell but it's playing out in the 3d realm should we say <clears throat> but if you're tuned in you'll be able to feel subtle shifts and like things ain't going to change on the material level for for, for, we probably won't even see that in, in our lifetime but on an energetic level things are changing very fast that's what I'm saying um, and one thing I will say to be mindful of is um, when you start awakening and your energy starts shifting and growing right you will yeah they'll cut you, you you'll vibe people will vibrate in your life and people will vibrate out of your life right there might be some friends that you've known for years and you're just on a different level to them. And one thing I will say is you will, <laughs> you will begin to not be able to tolerate certain things. Yeah, like me, I cannot tolerate dead end conversations. If the conversation isn't going anywhere, then I'm not really interested. I'm not interested in the 3D stuff. Like <laughs> one thing that I saw one post on Instagram about the Colosseum, yeah, um, when I went to Rome, the Colosseum. And that's all football stadiums and basketballs and all that is. It's a coliseum to keep you lot entertained and distracted from what's really going on. Yeah? Just to let you guys know. True stories. And this was, <laughs> we're talking about the Romans back in BC. Yeah? Like fucking 2,000 years ago. So, what's, what's, what's changed? Nothing. Not much. <laughs> yeah? People are still wanting to be entertained and stuff. So, that's very interesting. Um... But yeah, thing, yeah, I'm not interested in these mundane, oh yeah, how's the weather and football and this and that. Dude, I want to know like how you're genuine, genuine, genuinely feeling. How are you genuine, genuinely feeling? Has anyone asked you that in a long time? How are you feeling today? Yeah? Yeah, I'm not on the surface level conversations and surface level thing there. The things that I'm looking for has got to have depth. Like these times, man want to kick back and watch the sunset and talk till the sun goes down and all that. Do you know what I mean? And not just relationship wise, but even with friends and that. I'm not on these boring ass conversations and, oh yeah, 
these material things, this new Gucci bag and these Air Force crepe and that blood. Not interested, not interested, <laughs> not interested. Like the materialism and consumerism, them times are over. Them times are way over. But people have this kind of, it's like security for some. And because we're in the age of Aquarius, right? You're being guided to stand in your own power, right? To govern yourself, not to be governed. But some people don't, people want to be governed. Like to, some people like to be told what to do. But <laughs> for people like myself, we can't be programmed like that. We're like the glitch in the matrix. Yeah, we can't be con like programmed. Like even from primary school. <laughs> um, like, yeah. They are just not, just not, yeah, just can't be programmed like that. And um, none of it resonated with me anyway, man. <clears throat> like, yeah, nothing resonated. It's like I've always had this, I was born with this inner knowing, yeah, it's one of my gifts as well. It's like I can know, like, people can talk into my face, but I already know, <laughs> like, how you're feeling or what you're thinking, yeah, to a certain degree. Not all the way in, but I can, I can gauge certain things. But even in school, primary school, where they're teaching, man. It's like, dude, this is so outdated. <laughs> Martin Luther King and Black History Month and that. Uh, what is all this? <laughs> You've been teaching this to since the fifties, mate. <laughs> um, what? Like, and these times, Martin Luther King was like a, I think it was like a Freemason and all that. That's why they talk talk about him so much. Um, <clears throat> yeah, there's a lot more. Everything is coming to that. So what is currently happening is you have to unlearn what you've been taught. Yeah. And that's going to be very hard for some people because they think, oh, yeah, this is the way it is. And duh, 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 duh. and people literally like religions. Yeah, they will. They've been more deaf in religions than than anything else. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And trying to tell certain people, um, most religious people, that certain things. Look, like I was saying, even in the Vatican, they've been talking about supernatural things that's been going down in the Vatican recently, yeah? And funny enough, I saw the Pope when I was in Italy. <laughs> like, randomly, people were waiting for him, and I've just rocked up, and then next minute, like, I tried to do a left, and, I was, and then I got searched by police and that, and then I was like, oh, fuck this left, I'm going to do the next left, right? And then next minute, I'm walking up, I see a bag of people and that, and I roll up, and I'm like, all right, what's going on here? Like, next minute, man, look, and man just see the Pope walking around like this, like, in the car, doing all this and that, and I was like, right, like, you look really waited here for my man. And I just walked up and just, yeah, boom, there. <laughs> um, but yeah, even the, like I was saying about religions and that, it's controlled, it's, it's all controlled, right? Um, so, even the Vatican had to, the Pope had, the higher, the, <laughs> the people above the Pope basically had to tell him that you need to t say that there's um, supernatural things and stuff like that, right? Dude, we've gone way past there, man. We've gone way past there. But, like, in religions, they've been programmed so much that oh, you're, you're going to hell or going to heaven, right? turn your power externally but did you know that heaven and hell is just vibration if you're vibrating low and then your root chakra your survival things are going to be quite hellish right scarcity um feeling unstable insecure and stuff um always in survival mode right that's going to be quite the reality your external reality is going to be quite hellish right when you vibrate from like your heart center or above <coughs> You start vibrating neutrally, love, unconditional love, and connected to source and stuff. So I would suggest you guys check out um, the chakra system, as I keep saying, man. Um, but yeah, gang, this video is getting a bit long, and it weren't meant to be this long anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna hit you guys up real soon. Uh, yeah, it's just one of them crazy matrix talk videos, isn't it? So um, yeah, just gotta share, 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 share this. I don't know. Yeah, share the insight or whatever. Anyway, but anyway, gang, I'm gonna hit you guys up real soon. Anyway, peace, love, and natural.